Hi guys, thanks again for coming back. We are still on chapter 10. This is going to be part 2. We're going to begin with the molecules. Molecules, just as words are made by combining letters, molecules are made by combining atoms. A molecule is a chemical combination of two or more different types of atoms. For example, water is made from hydrogen and oxygen molecules. Carbon dioxide is made from carbon and oxygen. Atmospheric oxygen makes up much of the air you breathe along with other chemical substances like nitrogen and helium. This type of oxygen is different from the element that is also called oxygen. The oxygen we breathe is a molecule that contains two atoms of an element, oxygen, that are chemically bonded together in fixed proportions. It is written as O2. Ozone is potentially harmful form of the element oxygen and a major component of smog. It contains three atoms of the element oxygen and is written as O3. Molecules made from combining the atoms of one type of element are called elemental compounds or elemental molecules. Compound molecules are made by combining two or more atoms of different elements. Sodium chloride or common table salt is chemical compound that contains one atom of the element sodium and one atom of the element chlorine. States of matter. All matter exists in one of three different physical forms, solid, liquid, gas. These three forms are called the states of matter. Matter assumes one of these states depending on its temperature. Some substances such as water or H2O can exist in three different states of matter depending on its temperature, for instance. When water freezes, it turns into ice. When ice melts, it turns into water. When water boils, it turns into steam vapor. When the steam cools, it turns back into water. The form of water physically changes according to the changes in the temperature, but it's still water. It does not become a different chemical. Rather, it assumes different physical forms. Another example would be to dissolve sugar in water. It the water is evaporated, the sugar will be left behind but not chemically changed. These are examples of physical change. See the section physical and chemical changes in this chapter. States of matter have the following distinct characteristics. Solids have a definite shape and volume. Ice is an example of a solid. Liquids have a definite volume but not a definite shape. Water an example of a liquid. Gases do not have a definite volume or shape and can never be liquid at normal temperatures and pressure. Propane is an example of gas. It must be highly pressurized before it will turn into liquid. Plasma is a special form of matter that behaves like gas. However, unlike gases, plasma conduct electricity. Plasmas are found in the sun and other stars. On Earth, the most likely place you'll find the plasma is observing lightning storms or by looking at a neon sign. When electricity is passed through the gases inside the types of tubes in a neon sign, a plasma is formed and visible light is emitted. A vapor is a liquid that has evaporated into a gas-like state, but is not gas. Vapors return to a liquid state when they cool down enough. Gases must be highly pressurized before they can become liquid and when the pressure is lowered enough, the liquid becomes a gas once again. Steam is an example of a vapor. Vapors are not considered to be a unique state of matter, but rather liquids that have undergone a physical change. Physical and chemical properties. Every substance has unique properties that allow us to identif identify it. Two important types of properties are physical and chemical. Physical properties are those characteristics that can be determined without a chemical reaction and do not involve a chemical change. Physical properties include color, size, weight, hardness, odor, and gloss. Chemical properties are those characteristics that can only be determined by a chemical reaction and a chemical change in the substance. Chemical properties include the ability of iron to rust, wood to burn, or nail enhancements to polymerize or harden. Physical and chemical changes. Matter can be changed in two different ways. Physical forces cause physical change and chemical reactions cause chemical changes. A physical change is a change in the form or physical properties of a substance without a chemical reaction or the creation of a new substance. No chemical reactions are involved in a physical change and no new chemicals are formed.
Solid ice undergoes a physical change when it melts into liquid water and then converts it to vapor. A physical change occurs when an abrasive file is used on the nail plate and both the nail plate and the file are changed or when the nail polish is dissolved and removed with the remover solvent. When nail polish dissolves in a solvent, it is not chemically changed. In fact, nail polish is made by dissolving certain nail solid ingredients into a blend of solvents, which then reform into a sol solid film when the solvent evaporates away. A chemical change is an alteration in the chemical composition or makeup of a substance. These changes are the result of chemical reaction that creates a new substance or substances, usually by combining or subtracting certain molecules. A chemical change results from chemical reactions that create new chemicals that are made from different molecules. These new chemical substances will have both different chemical and physical properties. An example of a chemical change is the polymerization or hardening of the nail products to create artificial nail enhancements when exposed to UV energy. Under certain circumstances, chemical reactions can release a significant amount of heat. These type of chemical reactions are called exothermic. Can't, let's see, exothermic energy under, mm, excuse me. Oh, exothermic reaction, sorry. An example of a nail product that undergoes exothermic reaction is a nail enhancement during polymerization. Exothermic reaction normally occurs when nail enhancement products are polymerized. Normally, clients cannot feel the tiny amount of heat being released when properly applied high quality nail enhancement products should not create excessive amounts of heat nor should they make the client uncomfortable. Pure substances and physical mixtures. All matter can be classified as either a pure substance or physical mixture or blend. A pure substance is a chemical combination of a single type of matter. Pure substances have unique properties that are specific to the substance. All atoms, elements, elemental molecules, and compound molecules are pure substances. Water is a pure chemical substance that result from the combination of two atoms of the element hydrogen and one atom of the element oxygen in definite proportions. Liquid water has different properties than either hydrogen or oxygen gas. Even so, like many substances, water does not naturally exist in a pure state. Water may contain chlorine, dissolved minerals such as calcium or sodium, and considerable amounts of dissolved oxygen. Even pure air contains many substances, including nitrogen, helium, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. A physical mixture is a physical combination of matter in any proportions. The properties of a physical mixture are derived from combining the properties of each substance in the mixture. Salt water is a physical mixture of salt and water in any proportion that will dissolve the salt. The properties of salt water are derived from the properties of both salt and water. For example, salt water tastes salty. Most of the products nail technicians use perform services are physical mixtures. Table 10.1 summarizes the difference between pure substances and physical mixtures.